Okay guys, I wanted to make a quick video on how you can shoot 22 short CB in your Browning Buckmark. You can do it. I'll show you why. You can just do one though. If you look at this magazine, I'm going to put a standard 22 round in. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's in. Notice that the bullet is equal with this right here, with the face of the magazine. Now if you take the 22CB round and you line it up to it, <clears throat> you'll notice that the rim is right here, right where that notch is right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to load it just a little bit past that notch. And I'm doing this with a camera here too, so it's kind of hard for me to... Let me do it off camera so I can get it in here. Okay. You notice that there's a little bit of ledge there away from here. If you move it too far, it'll pop out. So you want to keep it right about there. So just a little bit further from here like right about there, that should be fine. And then when you feed it in, notice it looks just like your just like your other 22 rounds because we've taken care of the space right here. That's why it wouldn't work because if you had it like this, if you had it like this, notice that when it grabs this shell, what it does is it tends to pop it up too high from the feed ramp. It'll go like this. So to solve that problem we simply we simply put it in and just scoot it up a little bit until you're right about right about there. So it can go up just a little bit more. Right about there. Now you're good. And that's all you have to do. The purpose of shooting these are just pretty much just for testing or accuracy or something like that. But you can do it. It's not a problem. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and it's not going to be a problem to the throat or anything. This is a low velocity round. It's not going to be a problem chambering or anything like that. It's going to stop just like the other one right, right here where the rim is. It's going to stop. It's not going to go in any further. So there's really no problem at all. And it still ejects good. So, But you have to manually eject it because it probably won't have enough power to run the slide. So, But yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Thanks for watching.